right, it is two minutes to six and I wanted to leave 10 minutes ago. So we're not gonna get there until quarter after six. So I highly doubt there will be any uh, market carts for me to use. So I'll just have to use my cart and do a couple trips. And um, hopefully I get a good parking. It's 68 degrees. I'm in a tank top and shorts because it's gonna get hot like yesterday where I'm gonna be okay without a jacket or anything so give this video a thumbs so, up once I unload my car and everything I'll put my lashes on in the car um, I do want to say it is ant season I came back to an ant problem so like every day didn't finish eating her dinner and I woke up and her whole bowl had thousands of little black ants so I have to be very careful with any little thing ants will come. We ate 95% of her breakfast. The rest is in the refrigerator. So I'm glad she ate because I hate bringing her to the market on an empty stomach. But yeah, ant season in Southern California is bad during the summer. Very, very bad. So that was the first thing I had to tend to getting up at five. But yeah, I wanted to leave the house 10 minutes ago so I could use one of the market carts but if one is not available then we'll just do multiple trips in mine. I haven't been to Melrose in a very long time because I've been at the Rose Bowl or in East Bay or Vegas so I'm looking forward to going back today because I feel like that's my home Sunday market. So here we go. Hopefully some good things happen today. We make a lot of sales. It's gonna be good. And I feel like basically I only have three Sundays to then and then I'm going to Africa. Is that for real? I think that's for real. So today, next week Sunday and the following Sunday and then Rose Bowl and then I'm leaving. Wow. I see lots of tents up in the B section. So this is the one we ended up with, the hotel lobby one that I can fit everything in one trip is already taken. But this I think can fit more than my cart and at least I don't have to stress my cart out with the weight. First load, let me see how this will work. This is the second load. And then when I, I'm gonna return the cart and then use my cart to bring the last few things. We have two hours and 15 minutes to set up. But the problem is the grass is wet, which is gonna turn to mud and you have to step in it all day and work in that, which is awful. I've done it before at this market. That's one thing I don't like and the ants. Uh, but the lashes is on, so let's go and do the best I can with the grassy, wet situation. All right, here we go. Lunch bag, art bag, and Ebichan. Okay, hey, we're ready to go. 23 minutes till market opens. Gonna grab some pictures, maybe walk around in our section here to show what's around us and then go and run and use the bathroom. You want something, don't you? Well, I am set up. I'm so tired. 15 minutes until the market opens, so I'm gonna run to use the bathroom and then we'll do a quick little walk around in this section. Just do a quick walk through. So that's where I'm at. These vendors were at yesterday's market. See what's going on over here. This vendor is also at the Rose Bowl too. They also sell this right here as a spot, which I think is crazy in dirt. My first spot right here, now they split it into two. Okay. We have 11 minutes until market opens. Maybe you can stretch your legs share with you kind of the vibe of the space plants we'll go there in a second more plants pretty people are still setting up
I hope the weather stays like this. So, these elephants remind me of the thrifted one that a uh, content creator Elise in like other part of the world she got one it just reminded me of her I watch her channel all right let's quickly walk so I can share the market opens in 10 minutes so this is my favorite weekly market to be at it's dog friendly you have to pay to get in but there's tons of vendors Let's see what's going on in this section jewelry artwork I haven't walked through this section in a while because I usually don't have enough time to walk this far for the vlog. So that's kind of the entrance. So let's do a turnaround and then we can share with you the other part of the market. We have nine minutes. And it does wrap around on the other side of the school property. So very big. Get this video a thumbs up for being able to walk through kind of share with you guys the vibe I've never been it in this part of the market this is B section and you can bring your car in this middle section I believe so that's kind of a perk you know if you're in this middle section right here you can park your car Let's see what else is going on here. Jewelry and clothes. Cute. Artwork, clothes. This candle girl was my neighbor before and she was at yesterday's market near me. Oh, this is interesting. Mm. look at this furniture love it all right so here we are oh my goodness i really hope that the market can stay like this cool It'd be so nice lots of clothes in this section pretty sunglasses i'm a sucker for cheap sunglasses for travel blankets Ooh, so pretty. Wow, look at all these overalls. And pretty sparkly tops, but I like the furniture. It's pretty. Wow. A lot of candles. Hats. Lots of clothes. This is like a mini rose bowl, you know? A lot of us vendors are the same market. It's interesting to see everybody's set up. Okay, so goes down that way, which looks like clothes and jewelry. Wow, I love this setup. Look at how pretty. Look at this big fenestrated leaf. Anything for me? Wow, baby, look at all the plants. So pretty, Abby I love the vibe of this market. The girl that was um, next to me yesterday's market, she was in that plant booth looking at plants. We set up really fast. We can walk around and see what's going on. 
Oh, I love this green dress hanging in here. Super cute. Hi. Okay, don't say hi then. There's me. Oh man, if I could just go through these racks. is no, I love a good vintage thrift. Okay. Hi. Alright, that was a quick fun walkthrough. Market's gonna open up in four minutes. There's another plant vendor. So cute! Quick cars and everything. I love it. Planters, hangers. Very cute. I'll totally convert this to a living situation. Love it. So cute. Look at that. Love that. Okay, time to go back to where I'm at. That was a good walkthrough. I also like to see how people style their booth and utilize their space when it comes to styling. I used to be in this section too a lot here. Okay, here we go. Good vibes only. Alright, she deserves a carrot. Let's go into the snack bag. Because this time, I brought carrots. Okay, good job. A little munchkin on duty. Market just opened. Time to create some art. Cactus charm on a cactus bookmark. I love that. Super cute. Shade maybe? Cutest. Love it. Super hot and the market is picking up. So I'm gonna put together this Monstera Sun Catcher and this Cactus Sun Catcher and, and I'll share with you in a second. But I'm just gonna do my normal style but I've never done these colors before. And Evie is on the chair hanging out in the shade. The star. Sun is so strong. I know, it's so hard. Thanks for hanging out at the market with us. Ebby, what is this? It's for you. It's your belated birthday present. Yeah. Say thank you, Sonia, for thinking of me. Wow. This is for you. Wow, Ebby. Get this one out. Wow, it's what's this, light. baby? <laughs> oh no, it's a toy. I know you're gonna love this. It's a light one. Oh, wow. Wow, baby. That's for you. Wow, happy birthday, baby. Yes, happy birthday. Wow. Did you have one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, say thank you, Sonia. my Crescilla Ovada, my winter blooms from my succulent. Cutest setup. Look at this pom pom with the extra large M. Do you want it maybe in the center? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay.
the market closes in an hour and a half and the sun kind of went a little down so that's good because it's been so strong I haven't been able to make any art out there but I did do two sun catchers but take a look at this so cute it's gonna close in an hour 10 minutes I am going to drill through one of my rainbow pieces and I'm gonna turn this into a sun catcher craziest headache oh my gosh it's a quarter to six it's bad it's uh, in the high 80s and it feels like in the hundreds when you're bending out there it was rough look at me I took my lashes off I have a crazy headache I need to run home open up the house use the bathroom take an ibuprofen and water feed Evie and then I'll unload the car Ugh. It's because of the heat, I'm not drinking enough water, and I didn't use the bathroom. It's a combination of that and then being out in the heat all day vending. Vending is not easy. That's all I gotta say. It's not for everybody. Yeah. I just, I'm ready to go home and take a nice refreshing shower, drink something nice and refreshing after I run to the bathroom. Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Car is emptied out. I watered the collection, filled up the fountain, including the greenhouse. I'm making me furikake salmon. My vegetables, I need to do my corn on the cob and my mushrooms because these are the vegetables that I've had sitting. So my vegetable was cooking in the oven while I was unloading the car and filling up the fountain and watering the plants outside. So multitasking.
<laughs> you helping mommy? All right, so we got a bunch of succulent blooms, a variety of them. But I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna wait to take these for tomorrow's Thursday check-in. Babies are absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna let them stay overnight so that I can do Thursday's check-in tomorrow and share them. Grab a picture with them with my face. I look like a crazy mess, so we're not gonna do that. And then I'll go ahead and take them and dry them. They're so pretty. Okay, somebody ate their dinner. So I'm about to now do step two. Filming myself, uh, setting them up to dry. I just took a handful of minutes going through the collection and we're keeping the Hoyas overnight so I can share for Thursday's check-in and grab a photo of them before I take them. But this is, uh, yeah, tonight's haul. So cool. All right, I have my corn on the cob in the oven. I do have a little small toaster oven or conventional oven. So I'm gonna just start eating this and then I guess I'll have the corn when it's done. I'm so hungry and I need to finish drying the blooms. I need to check on the blooms. The whole drying process is very time and timely and consuming. Very timely and consuming. Very time consuming when it comes to these blooms and they don't care about your schedule. They're gonna open when they open and you just gotta deal with it if you catch them, that is. So everything that I put into silica gel and I'll share with you in a second from last night, my subscriber blooms and such like that was all in here. I had to really go through it very light-handed one of them um, I got kind of already falling apart so it's very very fragile um, but I need to put these in to silica gel cover them up and I have to like kind of figure out in my mind what blooms I'm gonna use because I have so many blooms sitting and waiting and I do definitely want to do a big piece Okay vlog, we made it to this time of the day. It is 9.20. Charging my watch. Uh, I did my Kylie Skin skincare routine. We'll see how it goes. I'll try it out and see how my skin looks after the summer maybe. I can kind of tell if I'm gonna continue it or not. And I spent a chunk of time dealing with blooms to take out of silica gel, put into silica gel, store. I mean, all these things are very specific and you have to handle them with care and very timely. And it takes a chunk of your day. That's all I have to say. So even if I was tired yesterday, vending on three and a half hours of sleep, and even if I was tired vending, you know, 12 hour day today, 
last night and tonight I had to put myself in front of my silica gel with the blooms and deal with them because they're not gonna wait for you if you don't dry them they're gonna die if you don't take them out of the silica gel they're gonna crumble to pieces so with that being said I just opened up another package of this treating myself to some chocolate I took a nice shower um, I have a sink of dishes that I need to wash from this weekend and ants is a problem so the first thing I want to do tomorrow is wash my dishes while Ebby's eating her breakfast and then pour resin probably really quickly or maybe not because when I pour resin I literally can sit on my bench for two to three hours so maybe not pour right away because I want to gear up for this vending weekend but I want to film Thursday's check-in so that I can share the Hoya blooms that I didn't take that opened up last night and grab pictures of me with it for Instagram and for the channels uh, before I take them because I'll have makeup on and I want to look presentable when I get that picture it's a very big deal because it didn't bloom last year because it was up against the patio wall and once I seen it didn't bloom for me there over the summer I was like okay we're gonna put you on the door opposite from where it was and the sun hit it more and it's blooming for me not as full as when I got it but at least I got some blooms they're coming and they're gorgeous and I can't wait to make art and these blooms are so so special I took 31 uh, blooms from my Hoya Compacta last night and 31 blooms from my Hoya Crinkle 8 I adore them I'm gonna like really think about how I'm gonna use them and incorporate them in my art pieces and a bunch is drying now so I want to do that I also want to share the big pieces that my patreon Mary my subscriber thank you Mary so much for supporting the channels I want to share the pieces that she's purchasing because she already has one and she sent me pictures of how she styled it and it's just so gorgeous in her like curio cabinet that's lit up with big crystals I thought I had a good crystal collection but she is crazy with the crystals and there's my epiphyllum piece first time blooming for me ever frozen in time and it's living there it's so gorgeous it made me cry and I want to share just you know a little bit of the reason behind why she purchased it so Mary if you're watching this thank you so much really touches my heart that you're purchasing my art pieces and supporting the channels by becoming a patreon and purchasing my art you guys just mean the world to me and the blooms for my other subscriber like I can't wait to put it into a big art piece this week is the week of big art pieces because I have Hoya blooms I have Echeveria blooms I have Sinon blooms cactus blooms Hoya blooms I just have so many blooms sitting and waiting for me to figure out what I want to do with them so I'm gonna be making a lot of big pieces because right now I don't think I really have anything for sale with big blooms in it so that is my plan over the next two weeks while I'm here in Santa Monica before going back to Las Vegas and the munchkin is down here asking for something I don't know why when you got everything you got your B-O-N-E you got multiple C-A-R-R-O-T-S throughout the day you got your belated birthday gift from Sonia but she doesn't like me vlogging she wants me to pay attention to her so I'm gonna wrap up today's video if I wasn't tired from vending day you guys already know I'd be making art right now and then editing a video but I'm just probably gonna watch a little bit of Downton Abbey and wake up super early all right what I wanted to do before signing off is go through the quotes of the day while I was in Vegas be good to yourself mm -hmm. you're killing it mm -hmm. dream believe do repeat mm. these are my kind of quotes I have to catch up to present day here 
follow your enthusiasm i'm always enthusiastic about things your mistakes do not define you Ooh, this is a good one i like that a lot this is a good one always be kinder than you feel Mhm. Mm starting something wonderful Ooh, such great quotes i think i'm caught up yes so we are caught up also another thing that's driving me crazy since i've been back is the ants it's ant season and like literally it's driving me crazy okay here we go let's do the other one here keep your eyes on the luminous skies okay bad vibes don't go with my outfit Ooh. Yeah, I'm not into bad vibes. Got some bad vibes this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> avoid the noise. Or avoid silence, right? Because silence is noise too. Go your own way. Mm-hmm. You are golden. Ooh, love that. Somebody's trying to get my attention for T-R-E-A-T-S humans need humans and that is wrapping up what we missed out on so I hope you guys enjoy seeing quotes of the day hearing my thoughts of the crazy weekend it was a very successful Melrose I haven't been to Melrose in like six seven weeks or so Evie can you come here come up here she wants attention because I'm vlogging um, and it was good. It was just super hot. I had a headache at the end of the day from working in the sun all day, being up super early, not drinking enough water, and probably not going to the bathroom. So that is my day. I plan on getting up really early tomorrow to film for the Thursday check-in. I have so many things to share. Uh, create art I teach my client of the day and we're gonna be gearing up because I want to then this Friday at the bazaar because I haven't been for like seven weeks or so and I want to see if there is more foot traffic plus I want to make up for August because I'm only vending two Sundays for the whole month because I'm working in Vegas and I'm in Africa so we'll see I'll vend this Friday Saturday and Sunday so stick around for that if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads we do the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day and I, i'm gonna try to have my fingers heal from gashing it yesterday at the market but this munchkin you can probably hear in the background do you want to come up here baby come come here all right i'll sign off here i'm gonna cuddle with evie and go to bed and try to make up for the loss of sleep over the last few days and thank you guys so much for supporting me thumbs up the video and i will see you tomorrow until next time aloha from santa monica california good night i was Bye. literally in bed eating chocolates thinking about my day every sleeping and tanya just texted me quarter to ten that the night blooming cactus is almost fully open <laughs> and if i want to come and get it and i told you guys 10 o'clock is the golden hour that's when they fully open cactus blooms and they'll die by six so i said no What's the chances that I'm here and you can reach it? Because there's lots that she can't reach because they're too high. And there she is. So she's three miles away. Let's go, Abby. Come on, let's go to Auntie Tanya's, get the cactus bloom. And then we can go to bed. Come on, let's go. Come on, baby. Let's go to Auntie Tanya's. We have to get the cactus bloom. I know, mommy's tired too, but the cactus bloom doesn't care that we're tired. It's going to die by 6 in the morning. We have to save it. Come on. I was literally about to go to bed. I'm going to take this Tritoscantia cutting for Tanya and then my silica gel container. So let's go take a quick drive. Tanya, look at you on the step stool. Oh, oh my gosh. I went up on the banister. The queen of the night. But, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, As I pour the silica in, it's going to open up. Open up. Got it. It's nice and fresh. How did you Maybe. get it? It just says uh, just to the pumpkin. Oh here. my gosh. And just oh. Look how beautiful. Oh no, we definitely need a picture right here. That is so pretty. Mm. Give this video a Give thumbs up. On my way out, 
I got this from my fountain that I've been rooting. Some Tritoscantia cuttings. Two that you don't have. Oh. To add to your collection. And uh, next time I come, I'll bring you more. They're fuzzy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's so sweet. But yeah, if you want, you can, uh, you know, cut cut this long one okay do you know what i mean yeah if you want okay. it's up to you and this one's rooted too okay oh, sweet. so enjoy oh, thank you, <laughs> <dear>. <laughs> Abby's like are you crazy mom we're like yeah. in bed and, uh tanya how i do the drying of her bloom because it's so huge so i and this is with all cactus blooms i get the what is this nape of the neck of the bloom mm -hmm. and oh i God. hold it like this okay. and i cut right underneath my fingers i see okay do you know what i mean yeah so i don't know if you wanna okay ready oh my gosh is that good yeah <laughs> you okay. see how yeah. i had pinched it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the whole center mm -hmm. all this beautiful part It'll all come out will all just fall apart yeah. so now what i do is well. i stick it and this is just transporting it because when i go home i'm gonna put it in a bigger container so it can lay flat okay i stick the bottom in okay. you see how i push it down yeah. and how it stands up Very as smart. i push down and then mm -hmm. when i go home i'm gonna get my big container out and i'm gonna pour right in the center okay the weight of the silica gel is going to open it up and it'll be flat are you going to leave we, it in here uh no because this is too small this container so you're going to grab it again yes so from do the this again yes and then pour everything out. yeah in okay. a bigger container mm -hmm. and then get my cup and scoop right in the center and it'll just open up and the silica gel is pretty firm to hold it here all the way home yes okay <laughs> so you trust it yeah okay i do okay yeah let me just do this yeah uh, so there it is okay okay yes well done we'll see you on the other side yes, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> i was like no what's the chances that i'm here and the chances you can reach it yeah Right. So I here I am. I yeah. put my contacts back and it's on. Not good. And there's no other ones that I haven't seen anything else coming up. So this is like a one yeah. night. The golden hour is sure. ten when they start opening. Okay. Okay, so yeah. give this uh, video a thumbs up for Tanya getting on the stool and using her big shear. <laughs> and uh, she, getting this she, gigantic yeah. bloom. I wonder if they, uh, we have another bloom like this in the fall, if they'll all be big like this. Because they were last year, they were big. And now that I have my big circle 10 inch mold, I'm going oh. to try with this bloom, just one, yeah. you know, and have it open up yes. fully. Yes, yeah. Flat. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be nice. But you know, the bloom is so so thick yeah. that it's going to take me a lot of manipulating when I pour my first layer of resin yeah. to flatten it out. Yeah. And then once it's in resin, mm. I can cut more of the back of the bloom. Yeah, okay. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You can't do that when it's dried. Right. It'll fall apart. Right. But once it hits the resin yeah. and it's coated in the resin, yeah. you can play with Will it. Will it fall out the underside and you'll trim it that way? No, because I, I do my blooms face down in resin. Oh, okay. Oh, know? I see. Okay. That so makes sense. So, the butt is sticking up yeah, and yeah. it's once it's coated in resin, I can trim yeah. more, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. get it more yeah. so you thinner, like, flatter. So, then it must be a treat when you turn it over and you're like, oh. Yeah, you never know. It's That's Christmas. Cool. That's pretty cool. You know? <laughs> but the thing is, is like the I have to do every four hours of pouring, yeah. so it's like. Does it change it? Uh huh. Or is that first coat keep it like that? No, because you can't pour thick pours; it'll mm. burn up. Mm. So you have to do it in layers. Oh, okay. So every four hours, I do a, a a layer, a layer, a layer till it's fully done. Yeah. And then I can demold it, but then sometimes it's like days of me doing four hours, four hours, four hours because it's a big piece. So all I'm hoping is like, is it going to turn out? Yeah. Because that's that a lot of product 
and a lot of time and a rare bloom. This is a lot of pressure, yeah. you know? I'm like, okay, another four hours. And every time you pour, you can make a mistake with that pour too and ruin yeah. the piece. Uh, so there's a lot of variables when it comes to making big pieces, yeah. you know? Yeah. The stakes are high. So thank you, Tanya. Right, Give this video well, a thumbs up. We're going fun. to uh, take it to fun. Santa Monica, uh, three, three miles away mm -hmm. and lay it flat. We are on my kitchen floor we're gonna improvise because i want it probably in this container instead of my huge containers that i used last season uh, because i don't have enough silica gel if i did put it in that big of a container so what we're gonna do is this is the container that i have all the blooms i just put under i'm gonna put this on the top at least to start the drying process and they're two different brands, so I have to keep them separate. The silica gel. So let's shake this off. And I already lost part of the center. We'll just stick it in like this. All right, so. Let's see here. And also the stapelia that I gifted her, it gave her a bloom as well, like mine's today. So this will also go under silica gel. We'll put that here. And there's silica gel. Okay. So now we can't mix up this silica gel. It's a different brand. Now, when I work with this big bloom i sometimes get rid of this once it's dried but for now we'll just leave it as is so this is the crucial part making sure that it's flat as possible so i always go from the center see if this can be in my 10 inch mold. I think I have blooms in here. Maybe I can take some from... I wonder if it's dry. Not yet. But maybe I can still steal some of the silica gel in here. I think this is a good start. I wish I had more silica gel. Then what I like to do is kind of have it stand upright. It's stressful. I also don't want to ruin the small blooms that's drying in this small container that I put in last night from Tanya's. The begonia blooms are still drying. Okay, I think this is good because when I wake up tomorrow, moisture will already be sucked out and then I can go ahead and cover the rest of this bloom. But ideally, I would want it to be more faced up right. I push from the bottom. There we go. I think this is a good start. But yeah, ideally I would like to have the whole thing covered. Don't 
blooms, the little blooms. In the morning, it'll be already flat from getting the moisture up. process taken out. I still need silica gel for this. But what we could do is... use the other brand for this small bloom okay so then this is going back in here it's a lot of shifting around easy to work with blooms that are time sensitive they're almost done drying but not really you know so now it's in this brand here and it'll finish up drying tomorrow Probably I gotta check on them. Everything has its specific time when to come out. Okay. All right. So I wish I had more, but I have my Hoyas under silica gel with this brand that I don't want to touch. But once they're dried, then I can use it. This is a good start. Okay, good night, Bloom. All right, so we will pick it up tomorrow. And now I'm going to sign off. Good night, vlog.